What if someone in authority asked you to give someone else a 300 volt electric shock? Would you do it? Would you do it if you knew that this was a dangerous, possibly fatal shock? Would you give it to a stranger? Do you think a friend of yours might shock this stranger? Do you think a neighbor of yours would shock this stranger? What would you think of the kind of person who would do this? Would you think of this person as cruel or sadistic? What if this person did it to a puppy? What would you think of them then? Really sadistic? Well, Stanley Milgram, in 1963, did an experiment that showed that this kind of behavior may be more common than you think. I'm Dr. Keon West of the Institute of Psychological Sciences at the University of Leeds, and I'm going to talk to you about the Milgram experiment of 1963 on obedience to authority. Milgram started these experiments in July of 1961, and this was a very interesting time. It was three months after the trial of the Nazi war criminal Adolf Eichmann, which I'm probably pronouncing incorrectly. And there were tough questions about morality and obedience in Europe. Following the horrors of the Nazi Holocaust, many people were asking, what was wrong with the Germans? Were they special? Were they evil in some way? Stanley Milgram wondered a different question. Is it possible to do things that go strongly against your own sense of morality if you're commanded to do it by a figure in authority? To investigate that, he needed a certain setup. This setup included a shock generator. In the picture, it probably looks like a cheesy 1960s prop from a sci-fi show, but it looked to them like a shock generator. It had switches on it that could say how much shock you were giving to someone else. It also had a label on it with a gradiated scale that started from 15 volts and then went up in 15 volt increments all the way up to 450 volts. At the 300 volt mark, there was warning and danger, but there were labels all the way along saying slight shock, moderate shock, danger, severe shock, extreme shock, letting people know that you could actually do someone damage with this shock generator. To test it, Stanley Milgram also needed participants. To do that, he recruited 40 people, all male, between 20 and 50 years old. And the last thing he then needed to set up this experiment was a confederate. And I'll explain to you what the confederate did in a moment.